I heard a news. Stay sharp. There's a lot of these guys with scarves. Today's performance was amazing. I still think it could use a little more punch, though, like releasing doves at the beginning or something. Why are you lot wandering around at this hour? We're, um... We wanted to pay thanks to you soldiers for working so tirelessly to keep us safe at night. We are deeply grateful for your services. We're just, uh, just doing our duty. There is no need for thanks. Still, you've made my evening. Whew, this is enemy territory. We can't be too careful. It's time for me to head home. The Abbey will be mad if they catch us out this late. Huh, so the Abbey is more important to you than your best friend, is it? Hey, we're gonna party all night. Looks like I'm carrying you home then. If a patrol catches you like this, they'll lock you up. There was only a bit of wine in the marinade. I didn't expect this to happen. I'm not the one you're looking for. Go to the plaza in front of the cathedral. Leaving town now would paint a huge glowing arrow pointing at us. Aye, we need to devote ourselves to work tonight. Okay, I think I have some new treasures here. A lovely stone. I should try cutting it. A crystal expelled from a volcano on Soma Island. When touched, the min mineral's color and hardness radically changes. Uh, why do you think that's a, a, a good idea? Hmm? Don't, don't you want to see if we can be cut open? No, I think it's just you, Rokuro. It's a pretty stone as it is. Yeah, but the cross section might be prettier. Well, m well, maybe, but whenever I see something hard, an urge to cut it apart overwhelms me. Rock smell, hard-headed old men, whatever. Please don't cut any old men. Hmm. I've never seen a stone like that. A miniature obelisk on Earth from the Armasian subcontinent. It appears to be an artificial crystal made by an ancient civilization. Their methods remain unknown. This is a very rare stone called Cryus, and it's clear as crystal, which is rare still. For us to find this fragment, it was a lucky break. A fragment? A lucky break? Um, I wasn't trying to make a pun, I swear. Well, I thought it was pretty funny anyway. Was it? Heh, <laughs> well, I guess there's no turning off this sharp wit of mine. And you s uh, said it with such a straight face too, that's the funniest part. It wasn't supposed to be a joke. Now this is one hell of a helmet. Ah, I need more people for m this. Oh, that's a fine piece. Mm, they'll need more for that one. Okay, I think that's all I can really observe here for now. That crest. That crest. Yeah, some of these just require more party members. A lovely stone. I should try cutting. There's still people here. You won't get a second chance of the High Priest. Tonight is the night. You can recognize Bloodwing members by their scarves. So they'll lend you a hand. But does that mean the people who attacked the caravan were Bloodwings too? I wish you good luck, or is it bad luck? Only the boss knows how many members the Bloodwings have and how far they reach. A lot of people have tried to learn and, well, just don't do anything foolish, alright? Look, I'm not... Your way into the villa. You'll find who you're looking for up ahead. In the garden, there's a priest who likes cats. Probably best to leave him alone. If the soldiers on patrol in the sanctuary are the real thing, keep your distance from them. Can I talk to these guys? The cathedral is closer today. Come back tomorrow. There was a report of a planned arson, so patrols have been increased for tonight. Let's see your papers. Checks out. This tunnel over here connects to the castle. It should put you inside the villa. giant crocodiles in those waters. Crocodiles? A croc's favorite meal is witches. All right, onward and inward. Everyone but Mogilu tread carefully. Some assassin's crew we are. Is that going to turn out to be a boss? Uh, the crocodile? The Bloodwings are a serious organization. I'm impressed that they know about this entrance. And they have agents on the inside to facilitate this little operation, too. They must have branches working all over the Empire. 
They've probably even figured out how to get cats and dogs working for them. Here's a juicy morsel about them. They make sure even their corpses go to good use. They what? Long ago, one of their agents stole into the castle. When the guards discovered him, they chased him to this very passage. He dove into the water to escape, and then... Crunch! Ah! A crocodile devoured him in one massive bite. All that remained was his arm, bobbing to the surface. From this, two important facts were learned. What were they? First, they learned of the existence of this passage. Second, they could serve crocodile meat in town. Crocodile meat rubbed with human blood becomes tender and succulent, perfect for Mabo curry. Then I ate? If it's so tasty, I'll have to try it. Rubbed with the blood of a lying witch. That would hit the spot, I think. And it wouldn't even affect our combat strength. Hey, the kid's a wreck. It was just a joke to help calm him down. It was a joke? Yeah, I totally made up that part about the crocodile. Mabo curry is actually made from man-eating catfish who- <laughs> Let's keep moving. Right. I'll get you for this, witch killers! Hey, according to the drawings I saw, you, you'll need to go through some tight passages to get to the villa. With a figure like that, you might get stuck. Thanks for the warning. Hmm. A water puzzle. Oh boy. You flip switches to drain waterways and create new paths. Find some water blocking your way, search for a switch nearby. But I can't hey, look, turn it back off. Level dropped. You don't think there are any alligators down there, do you? Broken artifact times two. Weak to Earth, but also... Okay, mm, Earth. Let's see... I don't have any anti-undeads, do I? Iron Thorn... Avalanche Fang... Megasonic... Yeah, that seems good. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. So many of these freaks. Verbena obtained. Oh man. They're supposed to be protecting the people from demons, but there are demons right under their noses. Abbey security is certainly lacking here. The whole point of building those massive walls around the city is to keep people safe inside. But if there's a demon outbreak on the inside, those same walls will make it harder for everyone to escape. The palace covers a lot of ground, so there are tons of hiding places. It wouldn't be hard for a demon to slip in through the waterway. I'm sure the Abbey is aware of that. Perhaps it's a trap made to lure intruders in. What? They lure demons in and then ignore them? Something doesn't add up. I know, right? Apple Joe may need it. Okay, there's a hidden path here. Mm. 
chest. Orange silver coin. Life bottled, I... I guess... I am not... I don't have enough capacity for that, but that could change soon. Warp. Oh boy. You're strong. Perfect, but I'm stronger. Armor Soul dropped it all, did it? It did. Get, give. Crush! Did you think you could escape me? That was... I can't believe I even got positive grade for that, but whatever, I'll take it. No deaths, even if I got hit a lot. Oh, yeah. Intense mode as well. Uh, I may, I'm tempted to just break out the uh, hit point one, but I really need the guard-breaking uh, 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 Ventite already. I need the guard-breaking Potentite already. It's just way too hard to deal these guard-breaking enemies. It takes forever to deal with them. Uh Paralysis. Uh well I can collect my reward later. But seriously, give me the we should have gotten the guard breaking one way earlier than this. There's it's just in, it's just a crime that we get the the intense difficulty one before we get the guard breaking one. Aha! Uh -huh. Got wind ring. I serve just alone. We need to get through here while it's still nighttime. The perfect place for prognostication. Eeny teeny spiny crow. Which way, which way shall we go? Mogilu. Oh! Verily the icy glare of death. Boy, which way do you think is best? I... <laughs> uh... There must be a way up somewhere. Let's find it. <laughs> uh... Why so glum, Velvet? The thought of killing a man weighing heavy even on your own damaged conscience? Not especially. 
but I wonder how you remain so flippant about it. Hey, I'm not here to murder anyone. I'm just tagging along in search of my traitor. <clears throat> Do we have to kill him? Can't we just make him stop this nectar business? I don't think he'd listen to us. Huh? Word in the taverns is that this high priest is a real shady character. The Abbey and the religion are popular now, but three years ago, no one had heard of them. High Priest Gideon was the one who led the church through those dark days. But once Malachim became visible to the general public, and they learned how effective Moloch arts were against demons, that all changed. Humans are such fools, only believing what they can see with their own eyes. And once the church had attained popular support, a nasty power struggle swept through the ranks. Many vied for the mantle of High Priest. Charlatans, power-hungry converts, but they all faded away. They left the church? No, they all met their maker. Some from disease, others from accidents. And in the end, Gideon became high priest. Uh, he may be the head of the church, but the people clamor for Shepherd Artorius. That's got a sting. Either way, if we're to face him, he might have some tricks up his sleeve. We'll need to keep our eyes open. It doesn't matter who he is. We just do our job. Hmm. Open. Lavender. Calcite fragment? Okay. Life bottle. You know what? I'm I'm just gonna. This is getting annoying. I'm just gonna get the uh, carrying capacity. Sick of leaving behind all these items. Okay, through this little vent. Coins. Broken artifact. Gold. Okay. Oh, a warp point. Okay, that's convenient. Huh, you're still here. Bloodlings will keep the plaza secure until morning. Don't worry about being tailed. Looks like you have some success. Here's a reward as promised. 1950 for defeating Corrupted Orb. Library? This is unexpected. Wow! Oh, oh, oh! Well, isn't this a rare collection of tomes? You royals sure have coffers to burn! Oh! 
Books in the ancient tongue! Can you read it? Well, no, but I just... This has nothing to do with our job. Huh? If you want it, just take it. Don't pretend to be noble. You're consorting with demons. Good grief, Velvet. You can't lighten up for once in your life. Lighten up? Did you forget we're here to kill someone? You really want that ratty old thing? There's gotta be way pricier ones. Got Villa Book. Is that gonna be important somehow? We can open up again, but there's nothing for us to get here. Size of Resonance, an old manuscript of unknown origin. To perceive blank, one needs stronger resonance that is needed to perceive monsters. This is one reason why there is much less recorded about them than of demons and monsters. Furthermore, perceiving blank source of calamity requires not only resonance but the influence of the Empyrean's domain. The rest is blood <coughs> out and unreadable. Huh. Are there other important pieces of lore here? Three rare diseases. There are many diseases whose origins and causes remain unknown, but among them are the three with no known cure. Demon Blight, a disease that causes humans to spontaneously turn into demons and spread rapidly after the opening. Black Crystal Disease, a disease that causes humans to become a living mass of black crystal. Bovier Sickness, a disease dooming afflicted children to repeated fevers ending in death at 12 years of age. That's pr a pretty exact number. Population Trends in the Kingdom of Midgan. The Kingdom of Midgan was formed after the end of the Asgard Warring States period. After a continent's unification, the Kingdom saw a century of peace under which its population swelled to 1.2 million. When the ten years since the opening, the Demon Blade has claimed the lives of half of the Kingdom's people. Thanks to the foundation of the Abbey, the slide into chaos has been halted, and the population has held steady. The populace is now largely centralized in the cities, but some settlements remain outside royal control. Exorcists and Legend. Exorcists are people whose latent resonances have been awakened by the Empyrean and Nominat's blessing. The Empyrean bestowed Malachim upon the resonant, who tethers them so as to access incredible power. Some evidence suggests a very small number of people have manifested these extraordinary abilities throughout history. They were called saviors, mages, alchemists, and sometimes spirit mediums, frauds, and consorters of evil spirits. It is thought that some among their number possess similar power to the exorcists of today. Exorcist ranks. There are currently around 100 orderlies and 100 praetors in active duty. The following three have achieved the rank of Legate. Legate 3, Artorius Kolbrand. Legate 2, Melchior Maven. Legate 5, Shigure Rengetsu. Who are the others? Hmm? Desolation, a conspectus. Since ancient times, our world, an unnamed wilderness, has been called by the name Desolation. Midian Kingdom occupies the known world, a continent and its outlying islands surrounded by the vast outer seas. A far continent is said to exist on the other side of the outer seas, but those who go and seek never of it never return. So Magulu, which way to the worship hall? Hmm, which way indeed? I asked you a question. I told you I've been here before, but I never said I was an expert. And I said we'd dump you if you started to annoy me. Dump me? Then you'll need to look for a trash can first. <sighs> I'm the fool for even trying to hold a conversation with you. That's the spirit. Loosen up those shoulders, and the way forward ought to make itself plain. Mm. There's soldiers everywhere. So got no choice but to fight them. I'll end this quickly. They don't have any weaknesses or resistances. They're just peoples. Not 
I got my soul back. Sorry to catch you down. Bronze scrap. Tarnished silver coin. Anasia bottle. <laughs> Feeling nervous, Laffy said? A bit. I can teach you a spell that will help. Like that eeny teeny spiny crow thing? No, that was divination to draw back the veil of fate. This spell is a bit of magic that will improve your fortune. Here is what you must chant. Magic Kazam! See? It totally works. I'm not sure. What did this spell do? It's a pointless charm to dispel a pointless worry. If it's pointless, why even perform it? Because humans are creatures that find themselves burdened unknowingly by pointless things. In any case, chant after me. Are you ready? Uh, all right. Magikazam! Magikazam. I can't hear you! Try again! Magikazam! Magikazam. Once again, with feeling! Magikazamazam! Magikazamazam! Again! Magikazamazam! Is that all you've got? Magikazamazam! Shh, keep it down. We're trying to sneak in, remember? What? <laughs> Just an old gag. Shut up! Ow, what was that for? I was only easing the boy's nerves. We have more important things to worry about. Hmm. Demons and Malakim are such stiffs. Magikazam. Huh? Did that help? <laughs> and now the boy consoles me. Well, that was pointless. Or, or, or. Rosemary obtained. Wind ring. Run scrap. Saffron obtained. Okay, now where to? This won't reset the enemies. Unlocked? Wait, what? Does this form a complete circle? What? Yeah, it's a circle. Rough gemstone. Man, this guy, is he really gonna turn to a Hellion and kill me? We'll see. Are you Gideon? I am in prayer at the moment. Who are you? I asked you first. Such ill manners. But what else could I expect of a demon? <laughs> Stop right there! <gasps> Another accurate augury. An ambush. Is this more of your Reaper's curse? Or do you think the old lady sold us out? You figured it out, didn't you? That he's running the Nectar operation. Indeed. I followed up on each of the incidents you caused, and the trail led me all the way to the High Priest Gideon. 
Yet you still defend him? The punishment he deserves is for the Abbey to administer. Punishment? How dare you! Do you realize how much I've done for the good of the Abbey? Make her nice and desperate, Velvet! I just know the result will be something wonderful. <laughs> Stay out of this, witch! Oh, these guys. There's so many of them. Stand aside. I'll take care of this right here. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try. Perfect mayhem! Hey. Excuse me. God damn these orderlies. Get back here, orderly. Okay, now it's just you. More? Damn, reinforcements. They have the advantage at range. Crush her head. from your true mistress? M -m Miss Mockyloo? I'm putting you back where you belong. You, descendant of the Seventh Grove, see our vows renewed. May our prayers of discontent vanish infinitesimal into the void. Remember this true name I bestow unto you, Fushi Cass! <laughs> oh, now it is on! That power... Are you an exorcist? Wrong. I am a witch, for whom the universe is a plaything, and the souls of men but motes. Oh, but if it's a name you need... A human consorting with demons? Have you no shame, girl? Bell tutorial. Spend one break gauge during a combo. Spend one break gauge during a combo will instantly switch out a character and perform a tremendous knockback. Doing this while defending will switch characters without attacking, so decide which is right for the situation. Okay. So... It is I! I have to do it twice, huh? What do you even have all set to your arts? You have spells and hidden arts. You fight just like Lofi set. Hey, yeah. Ooh. 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 
If you have at least one BG, you can s press up to spend one BG and switch out a character from Bell and attack with the incoming substitute fighter. Once your party reaches six members, you can also press down. As long as you have the characters required, uh, you have the required BG, you can even switch out KO characters for characters who can still fight. So it's like which character to switch out with left and right. Huh? Oh boy. This is insane. Why are there so many of you fuckers? Then pay us back right here. Oh. Always invest responsibly, children. <laughs> 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 How many of you guys are even alive? There's two more orderlies. I need to kill. He'll kill. You're the last one. Oh my goodness, where are you? Oh my goodness. Okay. Stand aside. Never. You didn't eat her too? Wait! All I did, I did for the sake of the Abbey. We needed money to build the temple. That's why I sold the nectar. I know I was wrong to produce so much of it, but, but I was only trying to help the people as best I could. You were literally using slave labor. Let's talk this over. Who ordered you here? Was it the sick? Was it the doctors? Or... No. Was it Artorius? I knew it! Damn his eyes! So he wants to wipe me out of existence, does he? That bastard! After all the work I did for him! No! Velvet? That false savior will pay! So easily. You can't die now. You think you could read books when you're dead? Oh. Don't you die either, Velvet. Priestie's getting away. He won't. I'll hunt him down. Uh, I didn't do a good job. Didn't get a Mystic Art finish. Because I spent all my uh, all my BG for just for that uh, tutorial. Oh boy. I could uh, yeah, I could have gotten a Mystic Art finish if I just had enough BG left. But no, I was stuck at two. Oh well. Hey, she mastered something. Mana earrings. Okay, using Switch Boss will nullify any status effect and add one soul to the characters coming in. Expedition return. Okay, good. Oh, I, uh, it g really did g give me the sk remaining skills that I missed. Good. That's good. Scout ship settings. 
No, there's still something missing. What the heck was number three then? If it wasn't fortune telling. This, uh, will this one belong to the uh, final party member? That's so weird. God. So, not even the High Priest is immune to demon blight. I guess he hit his limit. I see s what was that? What sort of compartment with stuff in that? And also, a cat's chest? That, is, that would be so easy to miss because you're probably just too focused on the plot. Okay. That looks pretty nasty, whatever's down there. What? What is that? We fought something like this in Zestiria. The demon returned to human form? And what is that beast? Wait. There's a... So it's a... A barrier was keeping it sealed. So what? The Abbey is holding this thing captive? And how did Gideon get in there? Is it a one-way barrier? I know it well. It seems our errand has met with success. At least technically speaking. Right. Let's get out of here. But we're not playing the change with the griffin. What did you do to the high priest? What is this demon? I don't know, and I don't care. Do not mock me! You are the mockery. What do you hope to do to me without your exorcist powers? That was some night, though. Stay sharp. Dawn hasn't come yet. Someone's gonna ambush us in the city? Is your errand complete? We did as promised. Well done. I'll throw uh, off any pursuers. You run back and tell the boss. This isn't the time to strike up a conversation. You need to hide and fast. It's always time to strike a conversation. a Moloch from an exorcist. How did you pull that one off, Mogilu? The info was my Moloch to begin with. Then he betrayed me and ran away from his rightful home. <laughs> Miss Mogulu treats Malakim so bad, bad, bad. I couldn't take it anymore. After a little while, I ran into Madame Eleanor. She was so much nicer to me. I see, I see. Now, just how am I going to punish you for that little slander on my character? <laughs> the bad, bad days are here again! You're an exorcist, then. Eh, I'm a witch, silly. Bienfu here is the catalyst thingy for my magic. But only exorcists can form a pact with Malakim. <laughs> oh, yeah? Says who? Someone who likes making dumb rules? <laughs> well, those mercenaries oh, did. Questioning her is a good way to go mad. Report back to the boss. Is your task done? I'll stir up the hive. Hurry back to the tavern. Oh, you're back in one piece. The boss has been waiting for you. Hmm. 
You did the job well, it seems. You heard quickly. That's about all I'm good for. And with these old ears, sometimes it's hard to hear it all. And did you learn anything about the key for passing through the barrier? Yes. Only the high-ranking exorcists can enter through the barrier protecting Artorius and his temple. Exorcists are considered high-ranking if they are accompanied by at least four greater Malachim. Hmm. So if we had four powerful Malachim with us, we could slip through. But Malachim outside the Abbey's control are rare. They thought this through. Hmm. Well, I may not look it, but I'm a greater Moloch. Aizen, Lafiset, and Bienfu. So we just need one more. We'll have to steal it then. So I have to come too? Sounds like a pain. Then stay. We don't need you. We'll keep Bienfu, though. You have no courtesy. How about, it would be an honor, Madame Mogilu? More like that. Would you come if we asked? To attack the shepherd? <laughs> Depends on how you ask. A battle between shepherd and demon sounds like a real fine spectacle. I'm afraid this is just how Miss Mogilu is. Miss Mogilu, um, I, I would like it if, if you came with us, P please. Luffy said. Well, what choice does that leave me? I suppose I could tag along a little while longer. You can count on me. Melchior will be there. You and I still share the same goal. Our business is done. You can have this back. Keep it, dear. As long as you have that, we will count you as an ally worthy of aid. Allies of the ones trying to kill the savior? You might regret that. <laughs> Such a considerate young lady. Listen, dear, all of us live on the fringes of their so-called reason, do we not? Don't say I didn't warn you. Velvet, wait. My, my. I can't blame him. It's been a long night. Some aid for your allies? Of course. Right away. You're finally up. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Getting sleepy or hungry is a natural part of life. I won't eat you. What about your wounds? Feeling pain? That's also natural, right? I'm fine. It was nothing. You're really tough, aren't you, Velvet? You have to be tough if what you seek is revenge. Revenge? We're leaving. Rokuro and the others are waiting at the plaza. See you later if you're still alive. These folks stay up all night to pose as guards. Let them sleep a while, alright? You've done a lot for us. I hope we meet again. Come back and have some Mabo curry with us. <sighs> what joy to face a clear, refreshing morning. Especially after a long night of meting punishment on my heartless betrayer. <laughs> my poor, battered body. You better not kill our key. You're one to talk. 
Better not eat the boy. He's your precious key now. I know. Oh? You're facing the Shepherd and an Empyrean. Old Shepsy's one thing, but Empyreans are, you know, just gods who created the world. You think you can win just by smacking it around a bit? That's no Empyrean. It's a phony. Artorius is just using a legend to control the people. Wouldn't a true god be able to do something about the demon blight? <sighs> you don't believe in Enominat? I believe there exists something people call Enominat. But it's just a Moloch that used a special art to bring the other Molochim into our world. You sound confident. I witnessed it three years ago. Well, if it's not actually a god we're against, we just might stand a chance. Of course we do. And ultimately, our target is Artorius. I don't care about anything else. Revenge against Artorius. For her brother. All right, Laffy said. Which way is the Empyrean's throne? Um, it was north of Logris, in the mountains up the Danan Highway. If exorcists are keeping up their inspections, they might provide us a chance to steal another Moloch. I sent my men a Sylphje with orders to scout out the inspectors. With their information, we'll be able to plan the attack. Hmm. We can meet up at Port Zexen. That's the plan. Those Sylph Jays are handy little birds, aren't they? Not only will they always find their destination, they can make for emergency rations in a pinch. I hear grilled Sylph Jay goes rather well with a nice glass of the hard stuff. It's because of the work those birds do for us that we're able to stay one step ahead of the Abbey. Those birds are indispensable to us pirates, and we consider them a part of our crew. Don't even joke about eating them. <laughs> all right, all right. Still, I wonder how they actually do their thing. I know that carrier pigeons rely on their homing instincts, but sylph jays can locate a person wherever they are, right? They're really smart birds. I read in a book that rather than memorizing locations, they can pick up on people's wavelengths. When you send out a sylph jay, the bird can sense the change in your thoughts and will seek out the recipient you have in mind. I hardly ever see them in the wild. Are they a kind of moloch or something? No, they're not Malachim. They're just an incredibly rare species native to an island in the north. It's a funny story. A chance storm sent us docking at that island, and a mother sylph jay got blown onto our ship, eggs, nest, and all. Sadly, the mother bird died almost immediately. But Benwick stepped in and kept her eggs safe and warm. So that's why they're so attached to him. Usually, they're really hard to train as messenger birds, too. That's Benwick for you. He's always had a knack for things that would give other people trouble. Maybe when they hatched, they took one look at his wild hair and mistook him for their mother. You know what? They are comfortable enough with him to use his head for their nest. So you might have a point. Now that you mention it, he did ask me not to hit him on the head, because one of the sylph jays just laid her eggs. Well, if more birds are on the way, we could just eat one to see how it tastes. No! Don't even think about it! <laughs> it was worth a try. <sighs> Hello again! I'm Bienfu, a Moloch! Nice to meet you all! Just so you know, I'm a greater Moloch. You're a greater Moloch too, Luffy said. I'm sure we'll get along great! I'm... classified as a greater Moloch? That should be no surprise. You've got a lot of power, despite your appearance. You're a greater Moloch too, aren't you, Aizen? So I've been told. But I can't say I care for measures made by folks who tether my kind. I didn't know that's what it was. I'm sorry. No, don't worry about it. Just promise me you won't judge your own value from a label given to you by others. I won't. I promise. <laughs> what if that's all that gives me self-worth? They're pirates and demons. Pay them no heed. To me, you are the greatest of all. The greatest? Do you really mean it? Oh, Miss Mogulu, you're so kind. You've changed so much since I left. But you haven't changed at all. You are eternally my greatest servant. Oh, I don't want to be the greatest then. Oh, this is bad, bad. 
and our roster of the oblivious grows longer. I hear the High Priest was injured, and will be recuperating somewhere for the near future. The church is saying he was cleaning his villa when something fell off a shelf and hit him. But there's also rumors that thieves snuck into the palace and attacked him. If that's true, who could have done it? He's always been there for the people, and everyone looks up to him. What a terrible rumor. Indeed. I want to believe it's just that, a rumor. But it's got the children all frightened. I'm not scared at all! Liar! Sis saw you crying! I'm the one who's not scared at all! If any bad guys show up, I'll handle them! Ooh, scary. I'm sure bad guys won't come near you. Something fell off a shelf? Nice. They're doing a really good job of covering this up. If it got out that the High Priest was murdered, and in the castle of all places, the people would lose faith in the government. Let's pray that Swift, the High Priest Gideon makes a swift recovery from his wounds. Please heal High Priest Gideon. May those who hurt High Priest Gideon be punished. Heh. <laughs> I heard someone broke into the bill. Is that true? Unfortunately, yes. But it seems it was just a burglar. The Abbey has captured a culprit and handed him over to the guards, so there's nothing to worry about. I'm ordering silence regarding the incident. If the Abbey wishes to handle it internally, then it is best to do as they say. You're right. That way, the High Priest's name will remain untarnished. What? Ah, right. I know. That's what I said. Mogilu, you know how to speak dog? Of course. It's Witchery 101. Wow. What's it saying? Humans always say every dog has its day, but I've never met a dog that had its own day. What about me? When's my time in the limelight? As you can see, he's very upset. Sorry, boy. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. Woof woof. Woof woof. What did he say this time? It was a map problem. He explained that one plus one is two. Yeah, seriously. I know, come on. What's this dog saying? Humans always say, let sleeping dogs lie. But do you ever let me nap? No, stop all the petting and let me sleep. I mean, come on, practice what you preach. That's what I always say. You humans are all bark and no bite. As you can see, she has a lot of criticism for the systematic injustices practiced by a hypocritical and tyrannical human society. That is one astute doggy. <laughs> and what did that mean? He's practicing self-empowerment. He, he, so he said, I can do it. Yes, I can. There are an awful lot of soldiers around. Strange, considering the ceremony's over. Do you have a nice walk together? He wants to run all the time, so he ended up dragging me out the whole way. I'm exhausted. Huh, sounds like you hide your workout for you, but with a little practice, I'm sure you can train him. I'll give it my best. Oh, how pleasant. I could get used to this. Hey, hands off. I had my eyes on him first. No, you adult. I'm talking about the music. Pardon me, but can you two keep it down a bit? Oh, to be young like that again. I love your music. Please, teach me how to play. Teach me everything you know. Oh, well, if you want. Hey, I remember you. I'd never forget someone dressed as weird as you guys. <laughs> You're those traveling misfits. The ones who did that dove act in Logris. Mad Lou's Menagerie, right? It's Moggy Lou's Menagerie. Get it right or pay the price. So, you saw us in Logris? That's right. I was there on Port Zexon business. I really looked forward to seeing you perform, but it never happened. But today's my lucky day. How about performing here in Port Zexon tomorrow? I want to see that sullen girl go coo again. It was hilarious. And that magician's dove trick, too. <laughs> sure, but I'll have you know we don't come cheap. Oh, I've got the money. I'd pay anything to see that again. No. Oh, come on, please. Take a hint. Hey, now, don't be like that. Sorry, friend. Best give it up. Otherwise, my apprentice here might show you a special trick she's been itching to practice. One where she makes you disappear. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds fun. Do it! If you insist. But just a warning. There's no guarantee you'll make it back. Still want to try? Wait, seriously? Seriously. And remember, it's Moggy Lou's Menagerie. See you at our next show. Magic to make me vanish. Not entirely sure if I want to see that. Hey, I can still go back down here. 
You can go inside, but you won't be able to get into the villa from here anymore. Hmm. I don't want to do any grinding. Some of these guys actually do drop calcite because apparently if they drop a, t a certain tier of equipment, they can also drop common equipment one rank lower. So yeah, some of them were rank 5 drops and therefore they could also drop rank 4 calcite stuff. But it's very rare. I want to see the ocean. Let me go. Let's go to Harbor Sis, please. Sorry, but it's too dangerous. There are demons along the road, even close to the city. Oh, that's not, that's not fun. Who wants to see the ocean, eh? Someone's been being stray cats here. I know it. Now there are droppings all over the garden. Was it was a stray cat? A friend of at home, I say. So the priest was the one who fed the cats. She wants to make a confession to the Empyrean. I. I broke one of my little brother's toys. Haha, <laughs> I'm certain the Empyrean will forgive you. I suggest you go and apologize to your brother. Alright, I can apologize for eating all the cakes while I'm at it. It's a lot of things to apologize for. Come, sinner, and repent to your wicked deeds. Are you talking to me, perchance? I am. You look so deeply sinful, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Now confess! Oh, how long have I waited to bear my soul to someone? But I've always lacked the courage. Praise be to the Empyreans who have bestowed upon me this chance today! Ah, your devotion to the Empyreans is most... No! It is you who has captured my devotion, my darling! There's no one else I want but you! What? <laughs> Me? But my life is in service to the Empyreans. I... Hush! I want you to look at me the way I look at you. Hold me, darling! Smother me in your embrace! Uh, I don't... I... I... Those were the kind of lines I read in a romance novel. It wasn't even that exciting a book. I wasted so many hours with that piece of trash. Please forgive me for not putting myself to better use. Ah! Lying! To a priest! How could you? Oh, no. I meant to confess my sins, but instead my confession was another sin! Forgive me, Father, I've transgressed once more. I don't want to forgive you! Do not toy with the pure heart of a priest. I'm afraid the High Priest will not be holding services for a while. I'm dreadfully sorry. I see. If he isn't, well, that's entirely understandable. I will pray for his recovery. There are a lot of patrols about. Did something happen? Just a minor incident at the palace. The extra security is a precaution. There's no need to worry. Did, can dogs really catch demon blight? Yeah, I've heard of it happening to animals. If this little guy turned into a demon, it'd be worse than my girlfriend turning into one. Come on, man. Talking like that's only going to get you in hot water. <clears throat> It's all about subtlety, I tell you. Give the hunters a show that's just a little better than yesterday's. Keep doing that and you'll be on the road to success. Just a little better, a bit better. Got it. Lord Artorius's speech really struck a chord with me. I'm sure everyone else in town feels the same way. Actually, it would be problematic if they don't. Why would you have a problem with that? One word, lady. Business. The ceremony to move the great Empyrean Enominat is going on now, right? After a speech as moving as that, anyone would want to offer a prayer to the new Empyrean. Which is why I'm selling commemorative chalices. They've just come in from Port Zexon. Oh, Enominat's blessings are many indeed. Are you decorating the chalices with anything? I'm just about to deliver them to the craftsmen to get them engraved. I just hope all this effort doesn't go to waste. Impossible. This is the perfect opportunity. I guess amateurs just don't get it. <laughs> I may not know business, but I know how this story ends. Artorius, the ceremony, all of it. I'll end this by my own hand. I've had a wonderful business idea. Selling sacred chalices at the throne. Think about it, the buyers will be moved. The abbey will become even more popular, and I'll be rich. Everyone comes out a winner. Pretty savvy, don't you, Link? What's that? statement could shake the very foundation of man's relationship with his self-professed best friend! Huh? 
What did he just say? Humans call us man's best friend, but they consort with the foul felines. The hound may be faithful, but not the man, he quietly stated, a look of betrayal in his eyes. That's a shock. I didn't know dogs felt that way about us. You jealous dog, you. Arf, arf. Humans are only better than apes because they give me food. But everybody's are off, our fault. You just made that up, didn't you? Man, I've been feeling really out of it recently. I was much happier when I was drinking sweet, sweet nectar. It suddenly got a lot harder to get. The price shot up 20 times in the black market. I came to the capital hoping it'd be easier to find, but no one's got any. Give it up. It's got vermilion ore in it. What? Vermilion ore? I heard that stuff is crazy addictive. Real bad news. It'll be easier to quit now that it's harder to find. Real sailors don't need that crap, right? Yeah, you're right. I don't need nectar. From now on, I'm going to the bar after work. Hey, buddy, thanks for the tip. So he says I struggle to fall asleep without a nighttime tip ball. Let's take the same vow as Lord Artorius, to offer our lives in service to the people. We will join you. Let our combined strength overcome the disaster, disaster and reclaim peace and prosperity. Hmm. Safe journeys. Ooh, these are requests of the Empyreans. You recognize them, Maggie Blue? Of course I do, because I am me. Now I'll do you the favor ex of explaining it all for you, so be grateful. From the lower left is the Crest of Musafe, Empyrean of Fire, followed by Amanok, Empyrean of Water, then Hyanoa of Wind, and in the upper left, Umasia of Earth. Those are four Empyr elemental Empyreans, and the, this last one is Inamanot the Fifth, right? You've been paying attention. This tablet was found in the Outer Seas. That means the Empyrean's power extends beyond Midgan. Well, maybe you're better off not thinking about what it is you're going to up against. Ignorance is bliss, right? I don't care what my enemies are. I won't rest until they are defeated. These cards look like they hold many secrets. Deck of cards given by a woman in the Four Silence. For some reason, the edges have been honed to razor sharpness. Alright, so you know what time it is. Time to get your fortune told, Velvet. Huh? Not interested. Don't be such a spoil sport. You know what they say about my fortunes. Good or ill, you'll leave feeling nauseated. Is that your sales pitch? Maybe you should quit fortune telling and start a business cursing people instead. Oh, to shame, my dear demon. I know just a reward for you. I'll tell you your fortune free of charge. Now, what do the cards have to say? Hey, have you been cramming I have Newt in your ears or something? I said I'm not interested. Ahem, the cards say you'll be horribly annoyed by your fortune teller. Spot on, but rather than nausea, I'm feeling more of a headache. A lovely stone. I should try cutting it. Hmm. Oh. I've never seen a stone like that. Now this is one hell of a helmet. Is this made from the bone of some monster? This mask has a disturbing aura about it. Hmm, it's, it's got several nicks on, on it. I'm sure it was worn during some very fierce fights. Why not try putting it on, Rokuro? It might be your style. I admit it's a fine piece of protective gear, but I'll pass on it. Cut before being cut. That's the Rangetsu philosophy. The best defense is a good offense, in our words. Not quite. It's more like the best offense is a good offense. I see. Well, I hope I never have to fight a practitioner of the Rangetsu style. Mm, still need something for that oh, one. Oh, that's a fine piece. Okay, that's all I'm getting out of them for now. I wonder what's been happening at the palace. That's a good point, but we've no way of figuring out. Oh yeah, it turns out that the baboon can spawn down here. It cost me a life bottle. But I managed to get some decent grade even though I used up items and got KO'd. So that's because it was in a dangerous encounter where I linked two normal encounters together. That's probably... Uh, that's pro that pro So the extra grade might have made up for the KO penalty and item penalty a little bit. I'm not sure. Thanks for tuning in this Let's Play of Tales of Berseria. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.